Good afternoon once again. Lovely members of the the most attractive political party in Ghana. It's a political party that you don't find Sewa Bruni. It's a political party that has John Dramani Mahama as his mother. The potential president, the incoming president 2025. I am happy to see the Obuasi constituency executive as a whole. We have three constituencies here, and all the constituencies are represented. Akrofrum, Obuasi East, and Obuasi West are fully represented. And uh, that's a good sign. The, the brain behind this very institution, the former MC for Obuasi, is also around the chairman for Boise, the host constituency is here. The original youth organizer and his team are duly also represented. And that's a good sign. All other protocols observed. I just came across a news item which I find on the Ghana web. And the heading for the news, I think, 17 hours ago, so it's just a fresh news. It's time to review free SHS policy. Parma Bakker. Before I respond or react to this statement, let me send a signal to Parma Bakker and the MPP that we are not going to sit down and watch them cancel free SHS. If they dare try to cancel free SHS, they will see the wrath of us. Because as far as we are concerned, review means cancel. And so if they are trying to prepare our minds to cancel free SHS, we want to tell them that this thing will never happen. Who started free SHS in this country? Not only did he start that policy, but also building the infrastructure base of our secondary schools. 123 senior secondary schools out of the 200 promised by and an another damn call to Fuado. Grass cutters can speak English better than human beings because they have very good conditions to study thanks to john raman in Mahama, they are very good secondary school there you go there if you want to see the best grass cutters in the country today go to any of the abandoned secondary schools by nanaru danku and you get them there their teachers are teaching them very good english whilst our kids are studying and uh, trees John Ramani Mahama says that there are a lot of challenges with free secondary school. So when I come, we are going to review free secondary school. Nanado and his people, because they attended school in heaven, so they have a different dictionary and a different understanding of review. And so the dictionary, according to the MPP, defines review as cancellation. And so John Ramani Mahama was seen to be coming to cancel the free SHS program. And in fact, just last week, a disgraced bishop of the Methodist Church also alluded to say that because John Ramani Mahama says he's going to cancel the E-Levy, definitely he's going to do same to the free secondary school. I don't know where he got his logic from. Today, Pama Bakil is telling us that we should review the free secondary school policy. Because it had bottlenecks. 
My question is that where was he in 2020 when people were misinterpreting the review of John Ramani Mahama to mean cancellation? Such hypocrisy is something that we need to stand up against. My brothers and sisters, Ghana is being colonized today, but not by the British, by the MPP. Our future as young men and women are in danger. It is time for us to fight for our independence. The second independence of this country is being fought today. And we need to win it on the seventh day of December 2024 with John Dramani, Mahama, and the NDC. We need to exhibit some form of force. Let's go back to the history days and look at how Pam and Kuma liberated this country. And let us try to emulate that. Let's show signs of anger. Let's tell the MPP, and I want to say it here, that if the MPP believes that the NDC is going into the 2024 election the same way we entered 2020 elections, I'm telling them that they are lying. We are not going to go into the 2024 elections with the same strategy we entered into 2020 elections. If they think that killing eight people makes them a government, then they should prepare to kill all the six million people in 2024. I doubt if they can do that. Let us show we need to take this country out of the hands of the oppressor. And now the Dampa and the MPP are destroying this country and our future is in danger. My brothers and sisters, we are not here to celebrate you. We are here to tell you that after your school, as your colleagues, your seniors, who are doing their national service today, four months now they've not been paid. Today this government cannot pay salaries. And they have to borrow to pay salaries. Where would you be if Nana Rodanko and Kufuado and his people win the next election. I ask myself, how are they going to break the eight? Was it a hacksaw or a hammer? But I'm sure if we sit aloof, probably they may be able to break it. Let us show them that we are not ready to see this government rule this country again. It has paralyzed this country. And so we are here to tell you that let's join force. Let's come together. Let's move out there. Let's show our anger that we need independence in 2024. And when we are together, when we have the force, when we have the strength behind His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, NDC will be victorious in 2024. Thank you very much.